Hi guys, I'm Michelle Wright with the Cow Mom, and you join my craft until the cows come home. Facebook Live, I do every Tuesday night, right here, seven o'clock Central Time. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me look down here and get logged onto my phone so I can see comments. Make sure everything is up and looking good. Hello, Carol. Hi, everybody This jumped on. As always, if you see the red box up in the top left-hand corner, that means you are watching me live. Hello, Janice. Hi, everybody's jumped on. Please feel free to discuss away down there. Someone will win tonight's card creation, which is adorable, if I do say so myself. Uh, and that person will win it from the discussion down there. I use a random picker on my computer. It goes in and randomly selects a, num a person's name from the discussion. And I post those about five o'clock on Fridays and I get their information and it goes zipping out to them in the mail. So hello, everybody's jumping on. I hope everyone is staying super, super safe. Uh, I know we're all hunkered down as we say here in Oklahoma. So tonight is all about the ornate garden suite and you guys know me. I am all about keeping it real. And I want to tell you that when this suite first came out and I saw it, I was like, mm. and I'm just like you, I need to make my purchases based on what trips my trigger and makes me happy. And because if I don't have enthusiasm when I show it to you, then, you know, that's not going to pass on to you, my customers. And uh, I started seeing creations with it, and I was like, holy bucket of cow cubes. That's pretty stinking cute. So, yes, I bought it. Oh, my goodness. I've already created two cards with it. Love it, love it, love it. As always, up in the eye, okay? You're going to find the links back for everything I'm using tonight. I will tell you that there is one item on back order. It is one of the die sets, but you can still order it. If you place the order, an order for the entire suite, then it's going to pop up and say, there's an item in the suite on back order. Yes, you want to just proceed. If you want to buy the bundle that includes that die, yes, you want to proceed. That way, it's going to be allocated to you as soon as it hits the doors of the warehouse and they start shipping them out, they're going to ship back orders first. Know that bundles are 10% off. So if you buy the stamp set with the dies, you're going to save 10%. There are two bundles in the suite, okay? Both of them are amazing, and you're going to see when we work with them tonight. Um, know that the suite is not a 10% discount on every item. The suite has all the items listed, and you receive the bundle price for both of uh, the stamp set and die bundles in there. So that 10% is in that price, that savings that you would have done if you'd have bought them individually. Now I will tell you, I've also listed the bundles by themselves. I've listed each, the paper, the ribbon. I have all those listed individually. And I also listed the stamp sets by themselves and the dies by themselves, because there are tons of ways that you can mix and match all of this stuff. I'm telling you, and you knew, no, I wouldn't lead you down the wrong path. This is one awesome suite, and I'm going to show you that tonight. So, hello, everybody that's jumped on. Last week, I neglected to give a Tim update. Before I flip you down, I want to do that. Um, oh, but before I bring, bring up Tim, hopefully you saw my information today that there was a new clearance rack refresh with up to 60 percent off items uh, a lot of the items have sold out already because you know it's a first come first serve when they're gone they're gone there's still some awesome things on there though because i just checked it so make sure you check out the clearance rack grab those things while you can all right you don't want to miss out on those good deals okay now back to tim um he has been having some pain and it's gotten worse and worse and worse. And he finally did go to the doctor yesterday because they, you know, we opted out of his last appointment. So, um, and all of his numbers are all going in the wrong direction. So, you know, that's not a good sign. Um, they are going to do a CAT scan, which is routine uh, tomorrow. And um, 
he has opted after long discussions with the physician um, that he will go back on chemo. They're going to try something different um, to see if he can withstand it. Because, you know, she told us from the very beginning, we're just trying for quality of life and quantity of life. So, you know, it breaks my heart. Um, what are you going to do? You trust in God and you just put one foot in front of the other every day. So I want to send hugs to all you guys for all the prayers. Please keep them coming. I do believe in miracles. I know how God has a plan. We don't always understand what it is, but someday we'll know, won't we? So I just wanted to make sure I said all that because last week I forgot and uh, there were some questions. So, but we've got that update done. Now let me flip you down and let's make this adorable card. All right. So hang on to your drawers. You know the drill and I'm going to have to focus you, I'm sure. So. Get that tight. Let's see here. Get my colors. Let me see. I think I'm going to brighten it up just a wee bit. What do you guys think? And then let's go back over here and let's, let's come down just a little bit. Look at that isn't it adorable i'm going to come back out a little bit more and let's see if we can get it just a little bit more in focus i didn't know it's a tricky thing i tell you we're going to go with that okay so and it's not doing justice to the colors. If I flip it up, it looks a lot better. Let me see if I can put one more line on here, see if that makes it better or worse. Very clear. All right. Okay. Look at this. Okay. Let's go over what's in the suite first. Let's talk about the designer series paper. Here are the six sheets of designer series paper that you get. And the reverse side has foil on four of them. They're just beautiful. All right. So that's your Ornate Gardens Designer Series paper. It's a specialty designer series paper. And that is because it's got some foil in it. Now, this is the Ornate Style. I'm going to back up just a little bit more. This is the ornate style bundle. So you can buy the stamp set and the dies. Look at those dies. And tonight I will tell you we're using this die and we're using this die. Okay. But look at those. Ooh, love them. That's the ornate layer dies. Buy the bundle, save 10%. But I've listed these separate and this separate. If you would like them that way, the bundle is there and then they're separate. Okay. So, we are using the dies out of that bundle tonight. This is the Ornate Thanks bundle. We are using the Thanks and all of these different sentiments. I love them. For the card I made for a challenge that is actually going to be coming up next I chose to put the small greeting on the front and the large greeting on the inside. This one I used Thanks for All You Do. And the one I'm going to make tonight says, thanks from the bottom of my heart. These different choices are amazing. Do not overlook this stamp set, okay? Do not, I promise you. Now, oh, and it comes with the ornate border dies, all right? So these are the border dies that if you buy the bundle, you get with this. And this beauty right here is what I used on a card, the card that I made the other for the challenge. So you're going to see that coming up. So you buy the ornate. Order dies with the ornate thanks as a bundle, save 10%, or you can buy them individually. Now, let's talk about this card. Tonight, what we're doing, if you notice this right here, what is that? That is 
the Ornate Floral 3D Embossing Folder. And we're going to just emboss one little edge to bring the, the party inside. Hello, everybody that's jumped on. Thanks for spreading the moves. So we are using that as well. And then the suite also includes the Ornate Garden Ribbon, okay, which I'm using the Old Olive. And then I would say this is Rococo Rose. I mean, uh, not Rococo Rose, Terracotta Tile, Terracotta Tile. And then it's got Gilded Gems also that are beautiful. Didn't use those on this card, but I used them on the other one that I created. So who is ready to get started? It is the bomb, Roz, the bomb. Okay, so my card base for both of them is Early Espresso, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So let's just grab that out here. I'm my inside in it for now. Then I have a piece of mint macaron, and the mint macaron is four and one eighth by five and three eighths. Here's a piece of the designer series paper. This is the one that has the foil. It's so hard to decide because you could color these flowers in Stampin' Blends. Mm, that would be pretty. But the, I'm going with the floral. Now you'll notice on this one, I did my medium daisy. This is from the medium daisy punch. I did this in crushed curry because I will tell you this sweet says one of the coordinating colors is bumblebee. I believe that's correct. Let me look. Yes, bumblebee. So that tells me that's a new color that we've got coming in the end colors. Bumblebee. So, but for now, because I don't have bumblebee. Yes, it is a 3D embossing folder, Karen. Yes, it is with the blue platform. You got that right on the money. So I went with crushed curry and that worked well with it as well. But I'm going to change the daisy up tonight because if you can see here, this paper has what's like a vanilla flower. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. So let's go ahead right off the get go and let's just put some layers together. And I'm going to use my Tombow. So is everybody staying in, staying out of everything? If you have any more questions about the suite, I'll keep looking up. If I miss it, I'll come back and answer it when I check the comments. So this is just a teeny, teeny, tiny border, okay? Itsy bitsy border. Thank you. Somebody's going to win this one that I'm making tonight. So, all right. So we've got that done. And then I'm going to go ahead and let's bring in my Whisper White layer. And that is for my thanks. And I'm going to do the thanks in Old Olive. Gonna use my grid paper. Get myself lined up, and I feel like you guys are crooked. Let's see if I can't straighten that up just a little bit. So I've got my thanks. I bet everyone's getting a lot of crafting done. Now I want to stay to this side. Because I want to put my daisy on that side. So We've that done. That was old olive. Now here's my early espresso. Thanks for spreading the moves. And like I said, we're changing the sentiment up. Oh, this one I chose just wanted to say. Just wanted to say. I put that other sentiment on the other card I made. I knew I used it. And I'm going to put this just. I'm trying not to get my head in the camera right under there let's see how i did oh that looks pretty good now i'm going to use my double-sided adhesive or uh, my uh, removable adhesive i'm going to run that through the dye machine but i want to make sure it's good and straight so i'm looking at my thanks and then I can see my gap there. So I've got that done. But before I run that through, while I have 
my ink out here. Here's how I, it's hard to tell probably, but I just put a little bit of ink on my daisy. And this is how I did that because those petals are so fine and that's three of them. I wanted to go ahead and get some ink on there before I punched them. So I've got myself some very vanilla here and I'm just inking up my sponge and I'm really getting a lot of it off and I literally just kind of drug it across and I did the same thing with the crushed curry. I'm just putting some texture on what's going to be my daisies. Doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't have to be all exactly the same. There we go. I like that. I just wanted a little oomph, okay? Yes, um, there's cases everywhere, unfortunately. But I, I have, and this too will pass. We just have to stay in and do what they say. So, all right, you guys. Now, I'm going to. First, let me cut die cut this out, okay? So hang one second. Let me die cut this out. I'm going to get that done. And then I want to show you for a delicate make die. Oh, this cuts like butter. I love our new dies. So that's done. We got that done. We can set that aside. Let's pull that off. And I'm going to put it over here where it lives on the magnetic sheet so I don't have a situation. Now, I'm going to run this through. And I've got a little left over there to my last one. Let's get that off. Okay, I did. I'm just using my magnetic platform. If you don't have it, you're going to need to use your thin die adapter. But I want you to make sure that you understand you need to kind of pivot this to the side. I'm going to run it through and back through. All right. Through and back through because it is a delicate die. All right. So let me do that. I'm just going to bring the plate over here. And I've got myself a little spatula. Look at that. See all those teeny tiny little holes? Is that not, let me get this out of the way amazing so if you're afraid that it's going to be too much work oh no super 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 simple just make absolutely sure that you take your brush back and i'll do that when i'm done and get all those little pieces out for the next time or it won't cut as well obviously all righty so we've got that done what you think isn't it pretty that precision yeah i'm a, i love my magnetic platform not gonna lie i do i do all right here we go we're just gonna line this up in the middle i'm using my tombow so i've got plenty of wiggle room i'm gonna go ahead And let's put that down. You guys thought this car was complicated, but then you thought, no, it's Michelle. It's not going to be complicated. <laughs> hey, you said beautiful needed to be complicated. I'm just saying. Okay. So I like that. All right. All right. Now, let's go ahead. Let's put our ribbon on so I don't have an uh-oh moment and forget that. So this is the old olive. 
So we're going to need just a piece. We're going to snip that off. I am going to bring in my fast fuse for this. Did anybody grab any of the great deals on the clearance rack while you could? I've got my silicone mat there, and that's because I'm going to lay this down. So I'm going to put my ribbon right across here. Oh, they, oh, I'm so excited at how easily they cut. All right. Now, I want a bow on that. So I'm just going to leave it, my ribbon on my spool, and I'm just going to pinch it, come around. Turn that to where it's the correct direction, push it through, and then you can finesse it. Okay. But that way you don't lose as much ribbon. Okay. So we're going to snip that off. You know me, I like my little ribbon at ends. Cut at an angle. Now, here's a little trick. If you put this here, it's fine, but I want it to look like it was tied together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a glue dot. Let me just grab my snips because they're right here in handy. And I'm just going to come right up under the middle of this. And I just laid that glue dot down. And then I'm just going to kind of squeeze that. Squeezing it together on that glue dot. And it doesn't make a big difference, but it makes enough of a difference, if that makes sense. And I can take another glue dot, put that right on top of it. So now I've kind of squeezed it from both sides. And let's use one more. Better safe than sorry. I want it to get to whoever wins it and be on there really well. So now it looks like I pulled it up, tied it all right there. And if I could do that really well, I would. But hey, let's be real. I, you know what? That's not one of the things that I'm just perfect at. I'm just going to do it this way. Now you see why I use that silicone craft sheet pulled right off because that's what it's for. If you have adhesive on something. All right. Now we can go ahead and need to be very careful. And everyone needs to hold their mouth right because this is such a tiny border. And you know, once this goes down, it's down. Ha! Huh? Doing good so far. Oh, I'm glad that'll help you, Marlene. Yes, this ornate garden suite is awesome. Okay, now let's go ahead and bring in our medium daisy punch. And we're going to punch out three daisies. I wanted this daisy to be really, really full. And I will tell you, I did not put the medium daisy punch in the top. I did not. I just put all the ornate garden sweet items. And then I want to also, I'm using my spray punch. Okay, it's not in the top either. But I wanted to, I want three of these. I don't know that I'll use all three of them, but I want them in case I want them. Okay, and that's old olive. And this was very vanilla with the early espresso on it. Okay. So let's set those aside and bring in our bone I know. I, mm, I you, let's not use that one. That's one I smear, put my ink back down on my pads with. Y'all don't want to look at that. Hold on to those petals. Now hold on to them really well. And I'm just curling up. Oh, look. Dag nabbit. Welcome to my world. Hold on, you guys. Do as I say and not as I do. Sound familiar? Does it sound familiar? You know what? It's a good thing it's only paper. It's a good thing it's only paper. And I know where I can get more. See, I'm just hitting that with that sponge again. That was easy. Everybody needs to calm down. What? 
drop that out of my ring. <laughs> okay, let's try it again. Hold those petals at the base, not just the circle part. I got a little overly aggressive. That farm girl came out in me, got a little heavy handed. I'm trying to make sure I got the ink side facing up. You know, you got to be rough and tough when you're working with those gals. There's two. And this would be number three. Now, will this flower flatten out a little bit in the mail? Yes. But it's still going to have texture to it. Trust me. All right. Now. Oh, I'm glad that'll help you, Patty. Now, I'm going to use glue because I'm splitting this three ways, if that makes sense. You'll see what I mean here. In my gap, because I have three different flowers. So the first one's going to go down. And see, now I've got about a third of it covered. I'm going to put a little bit more and my last one will cover that last gap. See what I mean about being full? I wanted it to be a full flower. Okie dokie. Barb, I guess you need to let us know your tip. Okay, you guys, perennial essence floral centers, perfect for these cards. Now, they're yellow, and I'm going to go with the yellow one tonight on, because see how this has got the yellow? Actually, you know what? Hang on a second. I think I'm going to use... Trying to decide. I started coloring one and I may use yeah, I'm using it. I did the same thing with this other one where I took my bronze stampin' blend. Okay. And I'm using the wide tip of my bronze stamping blend, but I'm just using the edge, not the point. And all I did was just lightly, lightly color that fuzz. And if you have these, you'll know what I mean. They got a fuzz to them. And I just colored a little bit, let it dry for just a few seconds because these are alcohol marks. I'm not covering the yellow up entirely. I just wanted it to give more of that shade. And then went back and did it a second time. So I did it once already. And now I'm going to do that and let that dry for a second. And I just pivoted my marker. Slide the score tool. All right. I'm going to have to practice. I'll have to practice. Okay. Now, we're going to do, let's bring in our glue dots. And I'm just going to put one on the end of my sprig. And I don't want a lot of it showing because this is a, the medium sized. Daisy, let's grab another one. Glue dot. I love learning new things too, just like you guys. So that one could come out a little farther. And then I'm going to put the third one. On this side. Like such. Oh, love it. And then I'm going to use glue dots to stick all this down. And I'm going to I'm going to put three or four glue dots on here. I don't want them going anywhere. And glue dots are cheap. I feel like I keep sticking them right on top of each other because I can't. And you could also use your Tombow for this. All right. So I'm just going to kind of angle this. Just like such. I'm going to take my super fine tweezers and pop this off the back because this is an adhesive little floral center. And push that down. 
and we've got one more step to do. Now this is Whisper White, five and a quarter by four. I'm bringing in the ornate floral, 3D embossing folder, and, and that was a great question a while ago, so let me show you. Because I'm using the side of it, and this is the way I accomplish that. I don't want the whole thing done. I don't want the top done. I just want this edge. So I'm using the line here. And that's about, that's how I can tell about how straight it is. Because that line will kind of help me guide it. Or I could turn it this way. You do whichever one you want. If I turn it this way, then I can actually see how much is going to be on there. And it's perfectly lined up with the line. Now, if you go this way, I'm going to give you two different options here, okay? If you go this way, you're going to run it through, all right? Just fine. No problem. But if you're worried about it being straight, you can do it like this. Line that line up. But it's critical that you make sure that this embossing folder is not too far this way or too far that way. Okay? So that's just your platform and your blue plate. That's the way I'm going to run it through to make sure it's good and straight. But you can run it through the other way, too. So you have two options. But you don't want to tear up your embossing folder. And as long as it fits side to side, then you're good. So there we have that done. And that is can you see? Look at that. And all I did was I took my dark mango melody and just randomly colored in. I did all of them on the other one. I'm just going to do some random ones on this one. No rhyme or reason. You know what I think I will do, though? I think I'm going to grab my ivory, too. Maybe too pinky, but we're fixing to find out. And kind of do some... No, I kind of like that. So we've got some white ones. And it's because it's so raised up, they just color so easily. Love it. Love it. You know what? I'm going to color them all. Where do we have to be, right? We do not need to be anywhere. And it's so quick. Could do the same thing with the uh, old olive if you want it. Just kind of using the side of it. back and do the ivory love this sweet all right I think I got them there's one there okay you see I just barely touched them barely 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 it's a beautiful everything in the sweet I'm telling you didn't think this girl was going to love it. This girl ended up loving it. So you will be seeing plenty of designs is what I'm trying to tell you. Yes, you will. And you could put another sentiment on the inside if you wanted. That's totally up to you. And there you go. Which one you better you like with the very vanilla? I can't wait to get the bumblebee in to see what it looks like. Or the crushed curry. 
Oh, I love all the hearts. Love the hearts. All right, we need to brand these puppies. So let's grab our brand. There was some great designer series on there. I went last. It could be gone now. That mirrored acetate. Oh, man, I was so sad that that didn't carry over because I loved that. That's on there. Some black ribbon. There's some great so that you don't have to have the stamps. To, so just keep that in mind, you guys. You know what? Let's go ahead and use our earliest. Oh, there is Heart City. Okay, let's brand these puppies. I want to remind you guys that if you would like a cat, the new catalog that's coming out from me, I ship those to my customers that have ordered with me within the last six months. So any size order will do. If you would like leave a free catalog for me you must place an order with me within the last six months and it will show up at your door i will have it sent to you and i will be putting my order in the last week of this month for stamping up to ship all those out so don't dilly dally if the clearance rack is something that tickles your fancy then grab something off there and then you can get a catalog with all the new stuff hold on everybody i'm going to flip you up and around Okay. Well, I sure hope you guys enjoyed the gorgeous, gorgeous, ornate card I made tonight. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you guys continue to stay safe out there. Stunker down. That's what we're doing here at the Scott Farm. Uh, if you need me for anything, just give me a holler. I'll be here. And I'm sitting here. Hugs and kisses from the Scott Farm. Savannah has come home. I'll see you next Tuesday night. Got lots of great posts coming your way, though. So keep watching that vlog and those videos. Bye, guys.